categories, but Futurio also gives you an explanation as to why it's 30% in every category. Next is me in a Capricorn, which is even worse than the first one, which no wonder this thing ended too. There's a big risk that someone will end up with a broken heart. Yeah, that definitely happened on my end. We're getting better here. I've never talked to an Aries, but if you're an Aries, hit me up because we seem kind of compatible. Mm. If you love astrology as much as I do, I seriously recommend this app. You can download it with a link in my bio and it is on the app store to search Futurio. It's amazing. Hi, people keep asking for a curled hair tutorial and I have yet to do so, so here you go. I use a T3 micro wand and the small sparrow that comes in like the three pack, it's heating. I have curtain bangs and I don't do them to the end, so I put them behind my ear. I section it into one half and then two halves. So I take the first piece and I go over the barrel to curl it away from my head and then let it sit. Trust the process. <laughs> then I take the next piece over and I go under the barrel so it's going a different way and I basically alternate all throughout my This is one side done, still leaving out this bang and I'm gonna do the exact same thing to this side. Now that both sides are done, I'm gonna take the bang pieces and curl them away from my face, not for very long. Other side. Now I'm going to pick it up and try to shampoo it. <laughs> Keep going. Flip it and shake it out. <laughs> All done. Uh. Guys, I have some exciting news. Please stick around. I am going to be doing a two hour live stream on Tubit. Recently, a lot of you have been saying that I had a glow up and I want to help you all to have a glow up for summer too because I have a few things up my sleeve. During this live stream, I will be sharing 10 of my absolute favorite products from 2020 and 2021 and showing you guys how to use them plus little tips and tricks to be the baddest bitch you can be. I'm going to be sharing this on Tubit because it is a great platform to communicate with other bloggers and to talk with all of you guys so you can ask me literally anything. This is my profile so you can find me on the app which you can download with the link in my bio. If you want to come join me on Tubit, it'll be on the 28th of March, which is a Sunday. We can talk there in real time, and I cannot wait to connect with you guys. So, oh, do you guys want to tell me what's going on? Uh, not really. I'm not going to leave until you tell me. My best friend has a crush on you. What? No, I don't. Yes, yeah, she does. She's just nervous. Well, I don't care. She's not my soulmate. I thought you didn't want to be with your soulmate. Maybe I had a change of heart. Huh. You two need to stop meddling in my business. Or what? Or I'll make the whole school hate you. Damn. Girl, you need to guess another letter. Just to make sure. Okay. T. So? They're in the same spot that his are. How much of his name do you have left? The only letter I'm missing is the Y. You still have a guess. Finish his name. I can't. It's going to tell him. It'll reveal your identity? Yeah. How are you going to do this, then? I don't know. Bailey, I need to talk to you right now. Dude, wait. We're going to stick. Stick. I don't know why I thought it wasn't going to stick to anything, but, like, it literally just went, like, to my mirror. Wait, that's so fun. Where else can I put this? Wait. I put it too high, but it's stuck to the wall, too. It literally will stick to anything. In the back of it's not even sticky. Okay, news pack. Stick. Um, anyway, I washed it earlier thinking it wasn't gonna work because, like, sticky and water don't mix. And it still sticks to things. But it never, like, leaves anything in the back of my hands. Like, when you touch slime or something, it's like... Ugh. Like, this is so fun. And I stuck it to my mirror. I can put my phone on the wall. That's so helpful for POVs, dude. My phone's gonna be in, like, weird places. And you guys are gonna be like... But, like, I actually really like this case. That's so fun. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know why. I'm so entertained by this. Um, you should definitely get a Pluto case. They're so fun. Dude, I can just peel it off, too. It just comes off, like... Y'all, I got new phone cases from Case Defy. Look how cute they are. I've had a Case Defy case on my phone for months now. And let me tell you, it is one of the best phone cases I've ever used. And let me tell you why. Reason number one is that they're so protective. I literally dropped my phone halfway down the stairs and my phone was perfectly fine. And they're not bulky. <coughs> Quality, hey. Reason number two is they have such a good variety of phone cases. This one right here is the one I have on my phone right now and it is the cutest thing ever. I've gotten so many compliments on it. Plus, your favorite influencers already use the cases. This is Kylie Jenner with a case-defied case. Kylie Jenner has high standards. You think she's going to use a crappy case? No.
Their packaging, also adorable, and they come with phone cleansing wipes. Thank you, safety, COVID, hello. Use my code 20 S for 20% off your Caseify purchase. $100 now or wait for a better option. I'm gonna take the $100. I wanna go to Starbucks. Bailey, no, you cannot do that. What? The next option might be way more money. Or it could be nothing at all. Trust me, $100 is not worth it. Fine. $1,000? Well, I have to pick this one. But if you hit better option, you can just get more money. Okay, if you say so. A new car! Dude, you don't even need a new car. Mom literally just bought you one. Oh, yeah. Guess I better keep going? Bro, I got a Lambo this morning. No way, I have to see it. Okay, duh, but what are you going to do with the money that you got? I haven't picked anything yet. You're way braver than me. I'm so scared of running out of choices. You can run out of choices? $100,000? I feel like I could get more than that. Why isn't it giving me anything new? You probably used all your choices. I know, I know. Y'all want to know how the date went. First of all, I chose outfit number one. I thought it was the most flattering, so... He lives 30 minutes away. I thought we were just going to meet the gym, and he texts me, and he's like, I'm picking you up, right? And I'm like... Okay, so he drove 30 minutes out here to come get me. When he gets here, he gets out of his car, opens the door for me, and I'm like, mm, chivalry is not dead. We drive there, and there's no free guest passes, which I didn't even know because I'm new to this gym, but he pays the $20 to work out with me when he literally has a home gym. He was, like, watching me the whole time, like, encouraging me, like, your deadlift form is so good. Like, you got it. Like, ah! And then we go to Wegmans to get food, and he walks over to the fruit section with me, and I'm just like, what a man, wow. We both get fruit and go to the checkout line. I have my wallet in hand. I'm like standing in front of the thing. Doesn't let me pay for it. Like steps in front of me, just inserts the card. And I'm like, okay. Um. <laughs> then we just talk for a while. And he is so cute. So cute. <laughs> okay, update on Jim Boy. We're going to hang out again on Saturday morning because I asked him if he wanted to watch the sunrise. And of course he said yes. And then he said, do you want to go to Cracker Barrel? And of course I was like, who doesn't want to go to fucking Cracker Barrel? Yeah. But basically, I need you to help me pick out an outfit because I don't want to look insane, especially if it's in the morning. I know I need to be chill, but like chill is just not in my vocabulary at all. So this is option number one. I think I want to wear these pants regardless because they're cute, but it doesn't look like I'm trying too hard. But I'm going to try to change the top a couple times. So tell me your favorite one. Okay, sure. Option number two, take it in, combobulate your thoughts. Let me know. Then we have this one, which is super relaxed and really cute, but I think I like the tighter ones a little more. Or we could do this, but I think this needs a coat. I feel naked. <laughs> this is the exact same shirt, but in white. <laughs> okay, this is the last option. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm not sure about this one. I don't know. Guys, I have a crush on a boy, and I have not had a crush on a boy in a very long time, like four months. I went to my friend's kickback on Saturday, and usually it's just, like, people I know, like, not that many people, it's whatever, but this really, really hot dude and his friends showed up, and I was, like, looking at him, and me and all my friends are conversing, and we're like, that dude is so fine, like, oh my god. So, me and my other friend go up and start talking to them, him and his friends. And he was so attractive. And then he was apparently interested in me because one of the, his friends comes up to me and he was like, Bailey, he thinks you're cute. And I'm like, me? Okay. So I started talking to him. I had him on Snap. We started snapping. And then yesterday I was hanging out with my friends at a house and he shows up again. And um, this man took off his sweatshirt. I hope he doesn't see this. He is built. I was just like, I, he took it off and I was just like, ooh. Uh, he is so attractive. I don't know what to do. Like, I think I'm going to mentally break down. Oh, my God. Hey, guys. So, to celebrate 10 million, I decided to do something a little different. So, I'm currently 19, and I feel like a big problem with our youth today is trying to fit expectations that society has created for women, men, or anyone. Which I know I have fallen to. Something I don't share as much is that I've had a lot of problems with eating in the past, binge eating, starving, everything. And I think it's incredibly important to get the message out to young girls everywhere that they do not need to look a certain way to be beautiful or to feel beautiful. You are beautiful as you are. Which is why I'm working with the National Eating Disorder Association to raise awareness about all the different types of eating disorders and how we can help. It is a seriously difficult thing for a family to go through to see your child struggling. This is why I want to use my platform in 2022 to give back. The National Eating Disorder Association also helps with eating disorder prevention, cures, and care. This is something that means a lot to me. 
So I would really appreciate if you guys would click the link in my bio to donate. I know I will. So I just made an outfit wearing this as a joke, but that won't even post. So I know with no context, I look absolutely insane. But I promise it was for a good reason. But let's put on an actual outfit, okay? I took that shit out of my hair and took this mesh thing off. I haven't worn this blue top in a really long time. So let's put it on and see if she's a winner or not. Um, definitely a yes. I absolutely love the cut of this top. It's kind of lopsided. I don't know. Okay, hear me out. I know these are two different shades of blue, but it might be a moment. It's a no for me, but I do like the bodycon. My white bodycon is dirty, so we're settling for this one. <laughs> I think the circle pendant would look so cute. Let me put it on so you can see. Adding hoops, because I love them. Rings. <laughs> Now we add the brownish sunglasses to hide the fact that my hair looks like shit and we're done! Looking snazzy, feeling good, hot girl summer, whatever. If you are a jewelry enthusiast like me, stick around. Look at these little butterfly earrings, they're so cute! Jewels by Aurora sent me a few things and they are all so freaking cute! And for 48 hours after I post this video, you will have the chance to use my code BAILEYSPIN to get buy one, get two free. Not buy one, get one. Buy one, get two free. I also got this top chain. It is so cute. I love little layering chains. They're my favorite. Look at how cute these are. What? And we got this one, which makes me feel like an Egyptian goddess. I love it. But wait, it gets better. All the jewelry is handmade. They're based in Los Angeles, and it's a woman-owned small business. Yes! They also ship and process their orders fast, so you won't be waiting around wondering where the hell your order is. I don't know about you, but I would not pass up a buy one, get two free jewelry sale. <laughs> you can't tell me you don't want butterfly earrings. What are we going to get for dinner? Oh. Quesadilla? Quesadilla! So y'all remember when I made that video about Curology that I said wasn't sponsored? Well, this one is sponsored by Curology. Thank you to Curology. Mwah, love you. Curology is literally the best thing to ever happen to me, and I'm going to show you why. This was my skin when I started Curology. It gets worse. Let me show you. I had horrifying zits under my neck, and they would not go away. No cleanser I'd ever tried had worked. They all just made me break out. Serums, moisturizers, nothing would work. This is what my skin looks like now after three months. Three months of Curology. No neck zits. On Curology.com, you fill out a custom skin quiz, which will hook you up with a dermatology provider that will give you the exact formula you need to solve your skin. You can choose exactly what you want in your box. So I get the custom formula, the cleanser and moisturizer, and emergency pimple patches for those stubborn zits that come out of nowhere. When I tell you guys you will not regret getting Curology, I mean it. You can start your free trial now, and all you have to do is pay the $4.95 shipping. Go get it. I look a little ugly right now, but it's okay. I want to show you the house that I am currently staying in Orlando because There's people and I'm really awkward. <laughs> Bro, just look at the door. Hello? Let's go outside. Literally what? Look at this. There they are. You're what? What is she doing? There's hammocks. Oh my god. <laughs> There's literally an arcade in here. Like, I shit you not. I'm playing by myself. <laughs> Bougie AF. There's literally a slide to go down to the arcade room. I'll do it at the end. Random bed in the hall. <laughs> this is my favorite part is a drive-in theater, but it's inside. Giant movie screen. Look at this. And the truck is a bed. Surfboard. This is the bar area. It's like my fave. So pretty. Here's me. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Oh my god. Boy. Ah! Oh, ah! Hey, so I'm kind of pissed off right now because TikTok put one of my POVs under review and they take me like 30 minutes to make. But anyway, um, here's my outfit for the day. These pants are from Colorful Natalie and this is from Urban. These are supposed to be like asymmetrical and just button on, but they're too big for me and I'm kind of fucking with the low rise jeans. I also felt like a headband today. Go brazy, I guess. Guys, I had every intention to make POVs today because I didn't yesterday, but I feel so fucking awful. I just can't. I have this horrifying sharp pain in my ribs and it won't go away. It's so bad when I cough and I think it's a strained muscle from coughing, but it's not getting better and it hurts so bad. I literally don't know what's wrong with me and like my both my ears have been hurting. It started with this one and then it moved to this one and now they both hurt. Also, the fact that some of y'all unfollowed me yesterday because I didn't post a POV and I literally captured my video that I'm sick. Um, Y'all are rude. 
not that like losing 70 followers really killed me but like i don't know just to have some respect for like creators and how they feel you didn't have to unfollow me because i didn't post one pov i really want to make more content but i like physically cannot right now so i'm sorry it doesn't matter if he's a third cousin he's still your cousin come on he's so hot though no one can understand me or no one can listen to me i think i'll start crying if nobody listens to me oh hey bailey what's up ashaboo what did you just say <clears throat> what the fuck are you okay ashabooboodorf you're genuinely freaking me out we're going to do presentations today bailey you can go first don't even i just heard you talking to your friends go ahead now <clears throat> You should go to the nurse. So, Han, I heard you weren't feeling very well. Uh, could you repeat that? Oh, no, this is serious. You must be possessed. I'm going to call for an exorcism. Oh! The demon is getting angrier. Back again, and we're going to do a realistic white fox haul. We're starting off strong with this two-piece set. My only complaint is that it was supposed to be tie-dye, and it is the faintest tie-dye I've ever seen. No, because this skirt is literally giving me everything. It fits me like a glove. The quality is incredible. Buy it. Like, are you literally kidding? Okay, again, this shirt is giving me everything. It fits me like a glove. It is such good quality. It has boning here. I like it. I don't know why I thought it was hot enough to pull this off. It was like a late night purchase, but I'm definitely not doing it any justice at all. I also got it in pink, but I won't be trying it on because it broke the first time I put it on. These are my new favorite jeans. End of story. They fit me like a glove. They're absolutely beautiful. I love them. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Okay, this would have been an absolute serve, except it literally doesn't fit me, which makes no sense because all the other ones fit me. But um, the skirt is a serve. Love her. Recently, a lot of you have been saying that my skin looks really clear and let me tell you it has been a process but I want to share with you my favorite products that have helped me to get a beautiful face. The brand I have been loving and living for recently is Ami. I first start out with a makeup wipe to remove any gunk from my face and Ami is completely vegan and cruelty free plus affordable, yes. <laughs> To get my face fully clean, I'm going to use the Clear and Calm Exfoliating Face Wash, which is natural, by the way. It feels so nice. To finish off, I'm going to use the Mattifying Clear and Calm Moisturizer, which literally lasts 24 hours. It's incredible. Everything Ami sells is also dermatologist approved, so you know it's good. You can get your own Ami products at a Target near you. They are completely affordable, and I absolutely love them. 10 out of 10 recommend. On today's episode of Influencers Are Just Normal People, I'm going to be doing a actually realistic nighttime routine. I'm tired of seeing people do like the Neutrogena face splash and they're like, this cleanser was derived from the hills and Narnia. Okay, anything. First, we're gonna rip off the lashes. Oh, it took an eyelash with it. <laughs> I'm gonna put my hair in the most disgusting bun you've ever seen. Slay. It's time to get off this makeup. I feel like a grease ball. I am currently moving. We don't have to talk about it. I use this makeup oil to take it off because it will melt everything and I'm actually just lazy. I'm gonna try the Neutrogena face wash. Time to actually wash my face. I use this one by Naturium. Hi, my little baby. Don't really feel like doing a whole skincare routine tonight, so I'm just gonna put on some acne treatment. Honestly, that's kind of it, but I'm not actually gonna go to bed right now. I'm probably gonna watch three episodes of Shameless, stay up until three in the morning, and then fall asleep, wake up at noon. So, have a good one. <laughs> hey, let's pick out an outfit. Don't ask about my makeup because honestly, I don't know either. Since I'm already wearing purple eyeliner, why not, what the fuck was that? Why not just go all the way, right? So I'm gonna put on a bright yellow top. Um, it doesn't really fit me, but that's okay. I think it looks snazzy AF with this ruffled tie. It's kind of cold, so I'm gonna add this like mesh top with sleeves. Giving me Gucci, giving me everything. I obviously need to accessorize, so I'm gonna put this leopard thing in my hair. Perfect, it looks like a bow. I think some red sunglasses would just tie it all together. The pink suede Nikes would be a statement with this as well. Yeah, so um, that's a fit today. I definitely could steal your man. Hey, a lot of you said you like my voice and I never talk. So this series is going to be Bailey's tips to being the baddest bitch you can be. And let me show you why I'm qualified to talk about this. Uh, this was me like a year ago. <clears throat> the skin. Oof. Speaking of skin, I'm going to give you my tip to how I got literally clear skin. Because I could not find anything that would work for me. And I found this life-changing so this was my skin uh during last winter pretty bad damaged awful dry acne Ooh. 
again, just like acne, wow. More, you get the point, okay? So this isn't sponsored by the way, but I kept seeing ads for Curology and I was like, there's no way this works, like that's too easy. And then one of my friends who is the clearest skin I've ever seen, I was like, what is your skincare routine? And she was like, oh, I use Curology. That sold me, I got Curology, cleared my skin in two months. I literally don't have a single zit on my face. When I say get Curology, get it. I'm so serious. Seven, and I go in with a Dior. One, two, three, so. I cannot keep living until I find out what happens if I put that much foundation on my face. I have on my headband exactly how she has it and a paper towel roll on standby. She used seven pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm creating a potion. We're gonna waste no more time and start lathering this on my face. <laughs> now we just rub it in all casually. I can't do my eyes because I have eyelash extensions. I look like the peanut butter baby. <laughs> it's burning. <laughs> Mom, look, I did my makeup. The beauty blender is supposed to be the most important part, so I'm hoping it'll save this. Okay, why does this not look bad? Look at this on my skin. We gotta finish the full face, so go to part two. Men be like, take off the 20 pounds of makeup. At least I have a hobby, Chad. What's your hobby? Shotgunning? Sleeping in until 4 p.m.? Call of Duty? That's what I thought. This is America, Lois. Men have always run things, and there have never been any problems whatsoever. And don't say the economy, or Iraq, or income inequality, or racism, or Brett Kavanaugh, or air pollution, or Vietnam, or slavery, or Watergate, or capitalism, or Me Too, or homelessness, or police brutality, or homophobia, or Monica Lewinsky, or school shootings, or Native American genocide, or Fox News, or Tim Allen, or climate change. I have the coolest thing to show you guys, and trust me, you are going to want to hear this. We've all seen influencers with link trees and all that stuff in their bios, but have you ever seen anyone with their own website? Universe is an app where you can literally build a website from scratch. And it's free! Here she is on the app store and let me take you through the glories of this app. So, this is what it looks like when you open the app. You can see my pages, which I'll show you in a second, and they give you guides to all the different features of the app and how you can use them. When you are creating your own website, there are plenty of different themes you can choose from and they are so cute. I chose pink. Here is my site in all of her glory. As you can see, there's all these little boxes because you can drag and drop things. It's that easy. I put all of these links so that you can find my other socials. On Universe, you also get your own website domain, which is so cool. They also give you your analytics and you can make money. I seriously cannot recommend this more. It's completely free on the App Store, so download Universe, link in bio. Let's see, watch this, y'all. Why the fuck would that happen? It's a croissant. That I've been trying really hard not to feed into comments, but I do want to stick up for myself on this one. What you're hearing on the chorus is mostly layering, which means that there's another chorus that I sang in the studio layered on top, so it's double the vocals. But for my own sanity, I'm gonna sing it acoustic. They're so pretty, it hurts. I'm not talking about boys, I'm talking about girls. They're so pretty with their button-up shirts. People are still gonna hate on me, but I don't know. I, I kind of think I can sing. <laughs> Why do you guys always like to argue with girls about their bra size? I'm like, oh, I'm a C, and they're like, no, you're not. We've tried to explain this to you guys many times, and every time it just goes right off the back of your heads. <laughs> Band size has a very direct impact on what the cup is. The reason I'm a C is because my band size is 30. Meaning there's a three inch difference between my boob and my bust. A, B, C. I wasn't arguing that I wasn't flat. I know I'm flat. I just, I, I am a C. <laughs> you guys always have so much to say. It's so little in your brains. Thanks. Uh so recently, my whole For You page has been people mixing in liquid blush to their concealers. And I just want to say, I've been doing this and y'all are just overcomplicating it a little bit. Here's how I delete my under eyes. Poof. Get whatever pink blush your little heart desires. I chose Happy by Rare Beauty. I'll do this side for comparison, but I put a little underneath and the corner. I'm just going to tap it in with my finger. Now that I look sickly, we're going to put concealer over it. The Hourglass Vanish Concealer is literally magic. A little here and here. I don't want to talk about this. We're going to blend her out. Ooh. I'm setting it with the Fenty Beauty Powder. 
Do I even need to say anything? It's like my eye on this side is going a totally different direction on the end. 10 out of 10. Mwah. And we're back because you guys want to know how to do the freckles, but I must warn you, it is very, very simple. <laughs> So I use this Maybelline Ultra Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Blonde. I also use this for my eyebrows. So there you go if you wanted to know. <laughs> this is so boring. I literally go like this. Like I kind of- okay, so don't just dab it. I go down and twist. Because if you go like this, the product will deposit better onto your face. Because if you just go like this, it doesn't come off. So I just rotate my hand. You see how I'm like flicking it? Do that. And I do it all over. <laughs> Make sure they're not sparse. I try to put a lot. Sometimes they're better than others, but if you make them sparse, it's gonna look super fake. I mean, it looks fake either way, but this makes it look better. Okay, now that I've done that, I put on my blush and I put it like on my cheekbone. I don't put on the apple on my cheek because it lifts the face. And a little on the nose. Highlight. <laughs> done. I've been picked on three times today. Oh, because of my trousers. What's wrong with your trousers? Look at the fucking size of them. No, because hang hang on a second. This is not directed exactly at the person who commented this, but this is the first one I saw. Everyone was commenting, she's packed, and like, haha. And not just on my videos, it's on like every girl's videos who ever posts anything where you can see any glimpse of, you know. First off, not only is that disrespectful, also none of your none of your business. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all have ever seen a female's body, but we do not all look the same. I thought we had established that. I'm sorry that I'm not all bones down there. I do have fat just like on the rest of my body. So of course it's gonna like poke out a little. Like every girl's does that. Not everyone has like a teeny weeny like flat, you know? It's just, it's just pissing me off. The underwear also looks like that because there was extra room on it and it was bunching down there. Really didn't want to talk about that, but Y'all are rude. <laughs> like, I don't know what you want me to say. I'm sorry I have a fat-ass gorilla grip. You guys say this like being flat is an insult. Bestie, I can run with no pain. I also don't wear bras because I don't need to. I don't have anything there. Being flat is a blessing in disguise. Mm -hmm. I could conquer the world with my itty-bitty titties. Also, I wouldn't go as far to say that I'm built like a wall. Um, Honestly, I'm probably built more like a prepubescent boy. How about we just stop commenting on people's bodies? All together. That'd be so good. I would literally love that. Bye. Love you. Mwah. Yesterday, I finally moved out of my tiny LA starter apartment. This was very scary for me because I have not actually moved by myself. I've only gone from college and back and then college to LA. Roadway moving made this so easy for me. I had literally no worries in the world and all my stuff got there perfectly. They started by putting down these mats and covering the door so that they didn't damage anything when moving the furniture. They also were kind enough to give me this wardrobe for my clothes. Guys, I had all white furniture and they managed to get it out without getting any of it dirty, which was so impressive. The workers were so kind and really fast. This entire process was so easy and they did everything right. Again, they put down the mats so they wouldn't cause any damage. And they even built my dining chairs for me, which was so nice because I cannot do that. If you're looking for a moving company, I recommend Roadway Moving is the way to go. Okay, let me put you on if you're looking for some good quality jewelry. This is absolutely not sponsored, by the way, but I saw Stacked by Susie on my For You page on TikTok, and I was like, oh my god, this is so cute. Then I noticed that she was based in Virginia Beach, and I was like, I have to order from you. I'm a Nova. I bought this top necklace and then two other necklaces and a pair of earrings, and let me tell you, the quality on these is the best I have ever seen in my entire life. They feel so sturdy. They are well made. She obviously put in her heart and soul into these. She deserves so much hype. I am obsessed with this necklace. I also got this one, which is literally stunning. Stunning! There's so many different colors of these you can get, which I have not seen like anywhere else. Usually it's like pink or white or something, but these are beautiful and turquoise. Wow. I also got this black smiley necklace. I am literally in love. I am never taking this necklace off. It is the best thing I've ever seen. Support small businesses because she deserves it. She deserves everything. I love you, girl. I'm never taking it. Okay, real talk. I need to get you guys hip to this app like right now. Um, This is Wink. It's so loud. Ah! Anyways, this is Wink, and I've been using it literally 90% of all of my days. It is so fun. Trust me, like, you need to get this app now. Basically, this app can make you friends from all over the world. You get to see people's profiles on the app, and you can swipe yes or no, and you can add them on Snapchat, and you can talk to people in the app, and it is so fun. I got it a few days ago, and I already have, like, 17 friends on my Snapchat from this app, and if you find me on there, 
send me a message and I will add you back on my Snapchat and we can be friends because I love my wink friends. <laughs> this is my profile. I didn't add that many pictures because like, I don't know. But <laughs> I, you can add a photo, you put your snap name, you can get your bitmoji in there, your age, where you're located. It's so fun and you can meet so many new people and I seriously recommend that you get it because it is literally one of the most fun things I've ever done in my life. Okay, you guys wanted my workout routine, so here it is. I do not know what I am doing. Um, these are squat side to sides for glute activation. I don't know if that's what you call them. Then we have, I like to call these um, kick them in the head. You just, you know, you get really strong and you can boot them. It's good for your butt. And then I saw someone doing these on my For You page. Oh my God, my little tummy roll. I love her. Anyway, um, open and close your legs because, you know. Um, and we're doing squat, RDL, straight leg things. I'm really bad at explaining. I am so sorry, but this is like 55 pound weight. It's painful. Then we have these motherfuckers. This makes me want to literally run myself over with a bus and then jump off a cliff. But they're good for your butt, I guess. Um, and then we're doing squats. This was my warm-up round. I had 10 pounds on each side. I know I'm holding the bar wrong. You don't got to tell me. I already know. And then I moved to the 25. No, I moved to 35. But then I failed 35, which is the video yesterday. But now I'm doing 25. Yep, she's contemplating. Come on. Come on, girl. Go. Oh, there she goes. All right. Next, I did uh, some hip thrusts. I'm only using a 25-pound plate this day because my quads were killing me, but I usually use 45 pounds. These are great for your butt. Then we did some leg press. I can casually do 225 pounds on leg press. I don't know where that came from, but uh, yeah, that's what I do. I know you guys tell me to stop messing with my hair, but my bangs need a trim. Am I going to go to a stylist? No. I'm going to cut them myself with my baby tiny scissors. I just want to do some baby pieces in the front because I don't trust myself, but I also can't see because of the bangs. Okay, I'm just going to say fuck it and start cutting. <laughs> I don't want to mess them up. That's my biggest worry that they're just going to like look really bad. I don't think that that's even. I think I need to cut a little bit more on this side. Hopefully I won't <laughs> regret this. Okay, I'm too scared and I barely took anything off, but I can definitely see now, which is good. I think that they're cute. My hair is always really messy, so you probably won't even tell if they're kind of uneven. Hey cuties, I have some exciting news. Recently, a lot of you have been saying that I had a glow up, and I think it is pretty evident that I have changed a lot since I first started making TikToks. Not only physically, but also mentally. So I'm going to be doing a two-hour long live stream on 2-Bit this Saturday, April 10th, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. On this live stream, I'm going to show you guys not only my top 10 beauty products from 2020 and 2021 that literally changed my life, I'm also going to be sharing my top 10 tips on how I became more confident and how you can become more confident too because you deserve to be confident, you beautiful baby. The reason I'm going to be doing it on 2Bit is because it is a great way to connect to you guys. You can talk to me directly and it's a great way to connect with other bloggers. So if you want to join me, download the app 2Bit with a link in my bio. This live stream is going to be so much fun and I cannot wait to talk to all of you guys. Love you! So I think it is a great day to be pranking my family group chat. And I just happened to know the perfect app to do this. Here we have Reface and this is fun for a different number of reasons. You can morph your face onto GIFs or videos. And you can now animate your images. And if you don't know what that means, let me show you. Choose a person or face to upload. Then you pick which sound you want them to say and there are so many of them. So this is my dad, but look what I did. Also, I love my dad so much. Do not say a word about this man. I will find you. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! I just sent it, so let's see what they say. You know, you can also prank your friends with this app. Download Reface. You are not gonna regret it, I swear. <laughs> let's get dressed together for day one of VidCon. <laughs> No, maybe I should just go like this. I'm just kidding. First is this white top from Garage. I really hope nobody spills on me. For the bottoms, I'm going to put on this very long maxi skirt from Finesse. Just wait. It's so cute. There is just no way I'm going to be able to keep this clean all day. I've also been obsessed with waist chains recently, so I'm going to put on this one from Amazon. I already have jewelry on. This is actually my necklace that you can buy if you're at VidCon. This and matching earrings and some other stuff will be at my merch booth. On top of that, I'm going to add this half and half pearl and chain one. Finally, for shoes, these are Naked Wolf platform sneakers. Sneakers. They're amazing because I'm very short and I don't want people to know that. Here is our final fit and I really hope that I get to meet some of you guys at VidCon today. So if you see me, I am all white and you cannot miss me. 
And that's why I want to travel to all nine continents. The problem with that is that there's only seven continents. What? I could have swore it was nine. One million dollars now or a thousand dollars every time I lie to someone. <laughs> I love lying. Hey, does my makeup look good today? No. But I FaceTimed you and you literally told me that you liked it and wanted the routine. I never said that. Are you like gaslighting me right now? Nope. Hey, babe, I'm trying to win a bet. Do you love me? No, I don't. What? What do you mean? You've said it like a hundred times. Crazy. I don't remember saying that ever. You are making me look so dumb right now. Did you cheat on me? Yeah, I did. Is your real name even Bailey? No, it's Steve. No, your name is Bailey and you told me that you loved me. You sound kind of crazy right now. That didn't happen. If you'll excuse me, I need to go cry. Wait, let me test something. Bailey, are you attracted to me? Yes. <clears throat> Why am I the only one that's always weird? Because you're weird and a freak. Anyway, my boyfriend's coming over later. Why? So we can hang out. Where? In my room, duh. To do what? What do you think we're gonna be doing? Hey, do you remember my sister? Who's that? You've met her like 10 times. Are you new here? No, what are you talking about? Who is the fifth president of the United States? Um, I didn't sign up for a pop quiz. What flavor are Fruit Loops? Bitch, I don't know, fruit? How many teeth does the shark have? Okay, what's wrong with you? Have you ever licked the bottom of a foot? Ew, no, have you? Do you love pineapple and pizza? Absolutely not, ew. Is mayo an instrument? Blink if you need help. Do you ever think that birds are trying to talk to us and we just can't understand what they're saying? I just want you to stop saying weird shit, man. Where do babies come from? When two parents love each other very much. What is love? Okay, I didn't ask for an existential crisis. Can't find my straightener. What are you doing? Did you move it somewhere? I need it. Oh yeah, I put it in the- In the what? Just tell me. Oh yeah, I think that I moved it too. Are you going crazy or am I? Hey, what's up? You smell kinda- Huh? What are you talking about? I think that you need a- I do not smell bad. Yeah, you smell like- Can you finish what you're saying? You're freaking me out. What's the answer to number five? Of course, the answer is- The answer is what? I found that the solution to the problem is- Are you feeling all right? What are you talking? I think somebody needs to call the nurse. Do you remember my locker combination? Mm-hmm. It's 1435. But it's three numbers. Then you twist it to the left and the right and then- Ugh, oh, you're not helpful. Are you feeling okay? Yes, I feel- What? What do you feel? The Lulu. Yeah, I can tell. Can't wait to see what place I am in line for the throne. This is so stupid. We're all going to be like a millionth in line or something. Hey, you never know. Who doesn't want to be royalty? No, thank you. I wouldn't last a day with my mouth. When I'm a princess, I'm going to banish you. In your dreams. Ugh, I'm over a millionth in line. What about you? <clears throat> 500,000. Dang, you're closer than me. See, I told you none of us were going to be close. Okay, I have to go to my room now. Bye. Third? How am I third? I don't own a single nice thing. I buy all my jewelry from Amazon. Breaking news. The person first in line for the throne has been slaughtered. Everyone has moved up one place. It was probably just a fluke accident or something. It'll be okay. Sis! What? Get down here right now! Why were you yelling? Did you see the news? There's a killer going after the people who are close in line for the throne. Say what now? Good thing we're super far back, right? Yeah, good thing. Are you okay? If we find the killer, we get a million dollar cash prize. We have to. You have to come with us. Please don't kill me. I'm too pretty to die. No, we're not going to kill you. We're going to protect you. Protect me? You're first in line and there's a killer on the loose. In case of emergency, we need first in line. Wait, like for real? Yes, to become royalty. But I don't know anything about being royalty. That's why we're here to help you. We have to go with them. Okay, let's go. No, she can't come with. She has to come with me. Fine, but she must be quiet. You can't blow the cover. Deal. I don't think I'm ready to be a princess. You don't have to as long as the king and queen are alive. Okay, good. But the killer is still on the loose. Why haven't you guys caught him? Because people keep giving us different descriptions. What? We think that someone may be trying to throw us off or there might be more than one. More than one person. But no need to worry or be scared. We're here to save you. No, no, I'm not scared at all. Who would? Why would you think that? Okay. The king and queen are missing. What do you mean missing? I mean that they're not in here. You must have altered the future too. Uh-oh. Um, hi, Jackson. I'm here because I think it's time that we finally get back together. I broke up with you four years ago. And I've never stopped thinking about it. You're my true love. Are you feeling okay? I'd feel better if you were my girlfriend. I brought you a gift. It's half drank. Sorry, I got thirsty on the way over. Thanks, I think. So, are we back together? No, we're not. Fine, I'll just ask again when I see you at school. Great. Hey, your hair looks so good today. Oh, uh, thank you. That was weird. She's never spoken to me before. Hey, have you thought about that date yet? What date? Remember I asked you out last week? 
You're the quarterback. Yeah, and you're the most popular girl. It makes sense. What? You're mistaken. I am not popular. What are you talking about? Ever since you broke up with Jackson, everyone loves you. What have I done? So are we going to go on that date or not? What, are you going to stop me? Yeah, I have to. That's my job. I'm 6'3", and what are you, 5 feet? I'm 5'3", if I stand up all the way. Yeah, I'm going to do it anyway. Get back in here! You have got to be kidding. I can't use the door. What is a butterball? This is not the time. Did that dog just open the door? Ah, uh, butterball, stop it. Go back inside. You sent out the guard dog after me? I didn't send the dog out after you. Butterball opened the door on free will. Yeah, right. She bit me in the leg. Good. Next time I won't tell her to stop either. I don't need a babysitter. Really? Because you seem like a huge man baby. I'm gonna go throw rocks off a building and try to hit people. What is wrong with you? Excuse me? You heard me. I think you're insane. I know something we can do together. Come on. What? Just follow me. I didn't know that this house had a balcony. What are you doing? I'm gonna jump off into the pool and so are you. No way. Do it or I'll have you fired. Ooh, I've been wanting to try this one. Unlock what? It's a new system. You need coins to unlock everything. I don't have any coins. How am I supposed to get them? You need a job. That won't work either. I can't use anything? Only water is free. This old woman down the block is looking for a babysitter. I hate kids. But you need the coins. Okay, I'll do it. It's the one on the hill. Dude, that's not a house. That's a castle. Who am I babysitting for? The queen? I don't know what she does. Ah, it's a dog. Don't worry about Butterball. He's very friendly. He doesn't really look friendly. Are you the new babysitter? Yeah. So where's the kid? Oh, Lucas, where are you? I'm right here. Calm down. That's not a kid. That's a full grown adult. Yep, I'm 22. He's older than me. The pay is a million coins an hour. Is that okay? Okay, sounds good. I'll be back in eight hours. What's in your hand? Some fireworks. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to throw them into oncoming traffic. What? You can't do that. What, are you going to stop me? One billion dollars. If you don't take that, you're an idiot. I don't know what to do with that much money. I have seven dollars in my account right now. Dude, you could get literally whatever you want. I'm going to do it. Bailey, no, don't. Ugh, why? <laughs> Broke people should never laugh. I have some bad news again. Oh God, what is it this time? I burnt down a second house. How did you burn down a second house? I left my tacos in the microwave too long. So what did you get? Nothing. I have nothing. What? Why? Because all of this is insane. I don't need that much money or 16 private jets. You could have had 10 houses like me. You shouldn't even have the houses. You keep burning them down. Maybe that's why they gave me so many. Whatever. I'm fine. Uh, what is it? Um, there's no double it button anymore. What do you mean there's no double it button? That's the whole point of this. It just says take it. Well, finally, you have to take something. Is it at least good? Yeah, it's pretty good. One hundred billion dollars? Bitch, what? I can see why you would be desperate. What's that supposed to mean? You've been mean since I started talking to you. If you had an aura, it would be red. Whatever. Will you do it or not? If I say yes, will you change my name? Yes, I will. Wait, I have one condition. Fine, what? I want your piece of cake, too. That's it? Deal. Deal. So when's the wedding? In one hour. So you better change. I'm not changing. You can't wear that. Listen, buddy, I'm doing you a favor and I will not be putting on a dress. You're so stubborn. Hi, oh my gosh, you must be Zach's new girlfriend, right? Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. I'm his mom, so what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a professional mime. Oh, I'd love to see. Oh, uh, oh, wow. That was good. Thank you. Well, it was nice to meet you. What are you doing? What do you mean? I was trying to make a good first impression as your girlfriend. You're embarrassing me. Behave or I won't change your name. Fine, I'll behave. Oh, look, here comes the groom. What? What's wrong? That's my ex-boyfriend. Okay, but how did I go from looking like this? To this. So that's how my cat ended up falling out the window. Bailey, hello? Bailey! Bailey! Huh? Oh, sorry. What are you even writing in there? I just like to write down my thoughts. What thoughts? That is such a stupid thing to do. Mind your business. Can I read it? No. Oh, what? Why not? It's private. Give it! Hey! I wish Justin would like me back. Aw, that's cute. Give it back. That's not funny. Well, I think it's funny. He would never like you. Whatever. Um, hello? Bailey, hey, it's Justin. Uh, nice to talk to you. How did you get my number? I had to beg your sister by doing her homework. Are you pranking me?
No, I just really like you. Will you go out with me? Sure. Wait, that was what I just wrote in my journal. Bitch, are you magical? Part of side quest. I didn't even know I was on a quest to begin with. You have to do it. It's going to be so fun. What does a side quest even mean? It could be anything. You could find a soulmate. Why do you always peer pressure me into things? You're easy to peer pressure. Go to the coffee shop. Okay, that seems easy enough. Hi, what can I get you? Uh, could I have a pumpkin spice latte? I mean, I'm not complaining, but that seems really, really specific. Wait for the drink? Is my side quest just to get a coffee? Here you go. Thank you. I knew my sister was wrong. This is so stupid. Oh, oh I am so sorry. sorry. Whoa, you look just like Angelica. Who? The singer. You must have heard it before. It's absolutely uncanny. No, I've never heard that before. You could be her twin. Do you have any free time to chat? Yeah, I have some free time. I'm her manager. Angelica can't go on because she's severely sick. Oh, I'm so sorry. Is she okay? She's recovering. I want you to go on for her. What? You look just like her and you can lip sync. You just met me in a coffee shop and you want me to perform for a superstar? Yes, exactly. $21.99. That seems oddly specific. Get out of my way, loser. Is it just me or does Melanie seem extra crazy today? She does, and that's saying a lot for her. Hey, how much money did your soulmate give you? Um, $50. And what about you? Uh, $6. Oh, it's not either of you. What was that all about? I don't know. She's so weird. Hey, have either of you seen my girlfriend? Uh, yeah. She just came over and asked us how much money we had. Ugh, ignore her. She wanted me to buy her a mascara and I gave my soulmate the money instead. You should be able to give your soulmate whatever you want. Exactly. That's what I keep telling her. I hope my soulmate is chill like you. Don't let her hear that. Don't worry. I won't. Dude, he was flirting with you. What? No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. It was so obvious. He has a girlfriend. Not for long, he said it himself. I will not rest until I find which one of you is soulmates with my boyfriend. Tell her before she finds out you're lying. No way, she's literally gonna shave my head bald. Being bald is better than being dead. You know what, that's it. I'm breaking up with you. What? You can't. I have two more chances. Would you like to take them? Okay, yes, I'll take them. The next person is your older sister. Why would I need to apologize to my sister? She loved me. Are you sure about that? Hey, sis. Oh my God, am I hallucinating? No, I've come to make amends. No way, you can't fix what's been done. I don't even know what I did. I thought that you loved me. How could I love you? Our parents gave you everything and they gave me nothing. They clearly liked you more. But that wasn't my fault. But you never stuck up for me or tried to include me. Listen, I'm sorry that they didn't treat you the same as they treat me, but I love you and I would never mean to hurt you like that. I'm sorry too. I've been holding a grudge for so long, but I can let it go. I should have told you how I felt sooner. It's okay. I forgive you. I don't want any bad blood between us. <laughs> Congratulations, you succeeded. One more and you'll make it to heaven. I can do it. Who is it? Your mother. No, I'm not doing that. You have to unless you want to go to the bad place. Hi, I think that you're my mom. <laughs> no shot, kid. You're talking to the wrong girl. But I was just assigned to you by the soulmate system. You were what? I have to follow you everywhere you go. I'm not allowed to leave until you find your soulmate. I have to have a 10 year old following me around all the time. I'm 13, thank you very much. Oh, my bad. At least I'm not a grandma like you. Can I have a sip of that? No. Why not? You're being mean to me. I didn't sign up for this. Neither did I, you suck. What do 13 year olds do? Do I have to buy you like Legos or something? No, I just wanna scroll on TikTok. We have to go, can you drive? No, I'm 13. Oh, I'm right, sorry. Jessica, why do you have a newborn baby? This is what the soulmate system gave me. Bet you like me now, huh? I have no idea who my soulmate could be, and I don't want to be stuck with this forever. This? Excuse me. Your soulmate has a kid the same age, so go where they'll hang out. I don't know where kids hang out. The mall! No, I hate the mall. Too bad, we're going. Why do you look like that? What? What do you mean? You're kind of scary. Why do I look like I know how to play a guitar? I think your soulmate did it. Come on, we have to get in the car now. I have to go to school like this? Yeah, you can't skip it. Whoa, are you trying to be in a band? Ah, yes, real funny. I play the trombone. My soulmate gave me a Gucci belt. Why are you bragging when I look like this? I think you look kind of cool. <sighs> Bailey, come to the office. What? But I wasn't even late today. I skipped Starbucks. No, that's not it. Your outfit is inappropriate. What? Why? It's distracting to other students. But I didn't pick this, my soulmate did. It doesn't matter, you're suspended. Leather is against the dress code. You're suspending me for wearing a leather jacket? Exactly. You can't leave until your parents come pick you up. My parents can't pick me up there at work. Then you can sit over there with the other hooligans. Dana, you spray painted the back of the school again? No, it wasn't me. Wait, I know that you didn't do that. Why, because you did? No. I'm adding on to your suspension. I don't know, my arm is starting to look real tasty. No, your breakfast is here. Mom, this is a can of cat food. Yeah, but there's cheddar in it.
You're married. How did you and dad find each other? It took many, many years. I can't wait that long. The only way to find out is to break into the factory. I've never committed a crime, but there's a first time for everything. Thanks. More cat food? What is wrong with you? Excuse me, do you need something? Hi, I'm here for a uh, maintenance checkup. Oh, go right on in. That was way too easy. Hey, what are you doing back here? Stay back. Are you threatening me with a bottle of Febreze? I need to find out who my soulmate is. That's what everyone says who doesn't want to do the work. They haven't fed me in days. Why didn't you say that? That's illegal. Looks like your soulmate is Jack Smith. Jack? That little bit. Jack, I need to talk to you right now. Oh, hey, have you met my new girlfriend, Macy? Your girlfriend? I've been feeding her five course meals all week. So just curious, what have you been giving to your soulmate then? The trash from whatever my girlfriend has. If you don't mind, we're gonna go eat some Wagyu. That's like a hundred dollars a piece. My princess deserves the best. So, did you tell him? No, I didn't tell him. I don't want him. Can I just like switch soulmates? No, dude, you can't. A single peanut? What am I, a squirrel? At least it's edible. This is the only real food he's given me in days. You need to do something. Wait, I should trick him. Seriously, can't you just tell him like a normal person? No. Hey, Macy, are you allergic to anything by chance? I'm super allergic to peanuts. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. That sucks. Bye. Jack, I have something to tell you. It's so important. Sure, what's up? Your girlfriend just told me she loves peanut butter. It's her favorite thing ever. I didn't know. Thank you for telling me. <gasps> yes, it worked. This is the best day of my life. You're insane. Hey, I need to talk to you right now. I'm kind of busy. You set me up. What is this? It's the potion the old lady was talking about before. But why is it brown and chunky? No balls, you won't drink it. What did you say? Wait, dude, I was kidding. How did it taste? Oh my god, that was foul. Wait, it worked? Maybe the old lady was real and you weren't hallucinating. <laughs> I get to pick for him now. That was so worth it. You almost threw up. Soulmate eats raw fish or a hamburger. <laughs> You're not getting good food. Dog food or broccoli? This one's payback for the cat food. Come on, don't you think that's a little harsh? Like I haven't been starving for the past couple days? You're gonna make him sick. Good. Jack, could you answer number four for the class? Oh, I... Ew. I'm so sorry, my soulmate's been giving me rotten food all day. Dude, I told you. Ew, why are you so close to me? Because I'm your soulmate. No, you're not. Why are you lying to me right now? What? No, I'm not lying. I wouldn't be your soulmate if we were the last two people on Earth. You can't ignore the soulmate system. I don't care what the system says. Yeah, because your plan worked out so much better than mine. You got scammed by a grandma twice. What is that? Is this a pill? Yeah, Sherlock, good one. You should take it. Are you crazy? I think he's actually trying to kill me off now. You have no idea what it even is. Ew, this is like a rotting Starbucks drink. It's because you pissed him off so bad. This isn't fair. Why do I get a shitty soulmate? Mine gives me steak for dinner. Hello, ladies. First of all, whose grandma is this? You need to be on a leash. I know some information. No, we're not doing this again. It's about who your soulmate is. I know who my soulmate is. I forgot to tell you that he is not your soulmate. That's why I believe that polar bears are a myth. Dude, what are you talking about? No, I can't blink all day. Is that even humanly possible? Good luck. What if I blow in your eyes? Stop it right now. Okay, sorry, I was just messing around. Why do you look like that? What do you mean nothing is wrong with me? You have crazy eyes right now. My eyes are burning so badly. So why don't you just blink? No way, I could die if I do that. No one really knows what happens if you break the rules. It feels like my eyeballs are trying to leave my body. I'm telling you, you should just blink. Everything is getting blurry. You're gonna damage your eyes if you keep this up. Bailey, could you read problem 12 aloud? No, I can't see anything. Oh, do you need to go see the nurse? You look a little off. I don't think I could find my way there if I tried. Bad news, I left the window open and our hamster jumped out. Womp womp. What, but you loved him. Yeah. I think I like this little light. You might, but clearly Mr. Cuddles didn't like his. What do you think of this new shirt I got yesterday? Pookie is looking absolutely fabulous tonight. Um, okay, thanks, I think. Do you want to ride to school or not? Merrily we fall out of line, out of line. Bitch, this isn't Glee, let's go. What drink is that? I've never seen it. Jacob Alordi's bath water. Wait, what? Are you serious? Ew, don't drink it. <clears throat> Bailey, do you know the answer to number six? Last night, I dreamed I was a bottle of ketchup. Um, what? And you were mustard, which was weird, because usually you're mayonnaise in my dreams. Okay, you're starting to scare me. Are you feeling okay? I'm gonna call the nurse. Mwah. No balls. Excuse me? No, we can't just print more money. That's not how it works. But why not? I want to be rich. I can pause time or I can teleport. What? I want to 
do both of those. I know what I should do. Shit, I'm gonna be so late. Time to see if this works. I made it, and with time to spare. Whoa, Bailey, where did you come from? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. You definitely weren't. Nope, I was here. It's like you appeared out of thin air. You guys are all crazy. I was literally sitting here the entire time. Anyway, we can't be friends with you anymore. Your outfit totally clashes with ours. What are you guys, sixth graders? Looks like someone needs a haircut. I didn't mean to cut off this much. Why are you missing a chunk of hair? Bailey, did you cut my hair? No, I did not. You're literally holding it. Oops. She's a freak. She probably has like a hair fetish. Now you can be funny with no pants on. <laughs> it's so small. Ew, Josh, why did you pull your pants Ew. out? Why does it look like that? <laughs> it looks like a shrimp. <laughs> Create a potion. Is it gonna make someone fall in love with me for Valentine's Day? No, but if you collect all six ingredients, your soulmate appears. That sounds like more fun than rotting in my bed all day. A piece of your enemy's hair? How am I supposed to get that? Hey Mary, do you like my new necklace? Ew, no, it looks hideous. Why would you wear scissors? To do this. Did you just cut my hair? Say your last words. I gotta go. No way, you actually chopped your hair. Yeah, that's what I was supposed to do. You could have just pulled one strand out. That might have made more sense in retrospect. You're so dumb. A skateboard from the skate park? You could just steal one. If I take someone's skateboard, I'm gonna get beat up. Then I'm coming, I'd love to see that. So what's the game plan? <gasps> I have an idea. <laughs> hey, I think skateboarding is so cool. I've always wanted to learn. Can you teach me? Oh, uh, yeah, I'd love to. I'm like so stupid, I don't even know how to hold it. Hey, come back! We have to go. This is so easy. I'm gonna have a soulmate in no time. Huh? Come on, we have to go to school. But first, coffee. Ew, no way you just said that. I cannot function until I've had my coffee of the morning. That's so cringe. Mom wants a selfie of us together. Smile. Oh my god, what was that? I'm doing the duck face. Don't ever do it again. I thought it was trendy. Maybe in 2013. That was embarrassing. Okay, I won't. She wants me to take a video of you saying hi, too. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, it's recording. Hi, Mom. Okay, stop. Why did you pause like that? What do you mean? Don't pause. Just say it when I record. It's recording. Hi, Mom. Ugh, dude, you did it again. Why are you doing that? I don't know what you're talking about. Huh, are you wearing skinny jeans? Yes, I love skinny jeans, and I love tucking my sweater into them. I can't be seen with you while you're dressed like that. That lip color is way too light for you. Stop being a Karen. That's not even how you use that word. Oh. Sis, I swear, if you make the bathroom smell that bad again... Okay, sorry, I won't. Everyone can't see me or everyone can't hear me. I feel like I could use being invisible for a day. I am so glad Bailey's not here today. I genuinely hate her. Me too, she's so annoying. Fake-ass bitch. Why is there a dick on your face? What? What do you mean? Class, settle down and get that off of your face. Asshat. Hey, who said that? Mary. Huh? What? The answer is 76. Where is that voice coming from? I'm a genie and I'm gonna get you 100% on this test. Really? Thank you so much. Can people still feel if I hit them? Ow, what the fuck? Quiet, we're testing. Marissa, why did you answer in the shape of a Christmas tree? Because the magic genie told me to do it this way. <laughs> wow, okay, how about we take you to get some help? We have to save Lacey. Are you crazy? We could get in so much trouble. Ugh, finally I can take this wig off. Huge lips. That's perfect. Looks like you don't have to do anything. Hey, my lips are not that big. Yours are paper thin. What are you gonna do? I'd like to introduce you to my friend Lip Liner. Your turn. I know what I have to do. Okay, how do I look? Ah, oh my god, what the- I kinda like it. Are your eyes working okay? Okay, what's the plan? After this check, we're gonna sneak out when they're not looking and go to save Lacey. You're crazy, but I kinda like it. Next! It's impolite not to say hello. Last time you told me to shut up. Whatever, just stand still. All right, you're good. Hey! Okay, quick, follow me. How did you know this bookshelf is a door? I was trying to read Harry Potter once, but I opened this door instead. That seems like a bad book to hide it on. The jail is just down that hallway. Hey, what are you two doing? I didn't even get a raise. You're right, I'm sorry, we lied. <laughs> That's it, you two are coming with me right now. No, wait, listen, the reason that we had to come down here is because my friend has a huge crush on you. What? Oh, really? Yeah, she's pretty cute. Yeah, she had to come down here to know your name. Oh, it's Bartholomew. Uh, why don't we go chat down the hall? Aw, bye, have fun, you guys. Why would you send him away? He has the keys. Oh, don't worry, I got it. What? How did you do that? I snuck it off his belt while he was flirting. Shit, it changed again? We don't have time to go get a nose job. Don't worry, I got this one. Okay, I'm done. What did you do to your face? It was the best that I could do, okay? Quick, get in line. It's like we were never gone. 
Next for the beauty check. Hold it right there, miss. Something is wrong. W what do you mean something's off? We're looking for a suspect who looks just like you. We're gonna hold you here until we can confirm it's not you. You can't hold me here. We actually can. Sorry, I think I'm hearing things. Did you just say royalty? Yes, every royal must have gold as their currency and no changes can be made. This must be some kind of mistake. I have no way to get gold. I'm gonna starve. Typically, royals have easy access to gold. They're the only ones who can get it. Wait, but that means that Jake... Yes, he's a prince. Is that why the security guard knew who you were? Really, that's your first question. What kind of royalty? I gotta be like a millionth in line, right? You're first in line. You're the daughter of the queen. Am I hallucinating? I'm on a prank show, right? <gasps> Where are the cameras? I need to put my lip gloss on. We've been looking for you for years. Does that mean you're my brother? No, no, we are not related at all. Great, I still don't have any gold and I need a snack. Don't worry about that. I can help you get gold. What, are we gonna go find it under a rainbow? I don't believe you anymore. We have an unlimited supply in my castle. What, why did you just hit yourself? Sorry, I was seeing if I would wake up. What are you doing that's not edible? Then why is it scented like watermelon? Guess the magic word for what? If you guess it right, you get to meet your soulmate, but you only get three chances and you get hints. I don't need the hint. I think I know what it is. Really? Broccoli. What? Why would it be broccoli? That was wrong. Of course it was wrong. That was a stupid guess. I don't know. I like broccoli. Stop messing around. Just take the hint. It says that it starts with the letter O. Okay, pick something simple like oval. What if it's ostrich? I don't think that it's going to be the word ostrich. <gasps> I know what it is. Oligarchy. Dude, what? Why would it be that? Do you even know what that word means? No. Ah, uh, then why would you ever guess it? I don't know. I thought it was a cool word. I'm losing brain cells. What's your next hint? It's a body of water. Come on, you have to know what this is. It's so easy. A body of water that starts with the letter O. I can't think of one. Ah! Uh! Play truth or lie. I can't do that. I can never tell when people are lying. You have to. We're all playing so that we can find our soulmates. You know what? Fine. What's the worst that could happen? Soulmate has blue eyes. Truth or lie? I really hope that they do. I love blue eyes. Yay, I got it right. No fear. I got mine wrong. Sucks to suck. Soulmate is under six feet tall. I hope that's a lie. I want someone who's six three. <laughs> Okay, maybe a short king? Hey, I'm five feet. There's nothing wrong with being short. How am I supposed to wear heels around them? You can't. Better buy some Crocs. Soulmate has red hair? I hope so. That would narrow down my options so much. Cool, now I have to look for someone who's ginger. No, ginger people are the devil. That's not true. Oh my gosh, did you see the news? No, what is it? This guy who's 5'11 with ginger hair and blue eyes is wanted for a really serious crime. Doesn't that sound like your soulmate? Huh, <laughs> no. Ooh, this looks good. No, no, don't drink that. What? Why are you freaking out? Is it alcoholic or something? Uh, no, you'll be fine. Just go to school. Okay, weirdo. Bailey, you look so beautiful today. Aw, thank you, Stephanie. Of course, have a good day. Have you done something different to your hair? Uh, the only thing I did was brush it. It looks so amazing. Am I in someone else's body? What is happening right now? Hey, Bailey, wait, you should come sit over here at our table instead. Are you serious? Yes, why would I not be serious? Last week you called me disgusting. Oh, I was just kidding. Come sit down. Okay, I guess. So, since you're our friend now, do you want to come shopping with us at Dior after school today? Um, I'll be right back. Mom, what was in that drink you gave me? I don't understand why you won't let me buy a giraffe. They're so cute. Because it's illegal. Short girls or tall girls? Oh, you have to answer 10 right questions to get your soulmate. I have to get 10 right? I've never gotten more than a 2% on one of my tests before. Yeah, I know. Let's hope you like short girls because I'm 5'3". <clears throat> Look, problem solved. I'm tall now. What, are you just going to stand on a chair forever? Soulmate likes wealth or love. I really hope it's love because I have 20 cents in my bank account. You spent $100 on V-Bucks yesterday. Look. <clears throat> I need you to go buy me a lottery ticket stat. No, you're not going to win. You never know. It sounds like your soulmate doesn't like you. How could he not? I'm the best. Soulmate likes gold or diamonds. Well, diamonds are a girl's best friend, so I hope that it's his too. Finally, I got one right. Aw, that's the first time you've ever gotten anything right. A soulmate lives in a castle or an apartment? Obviously, apartment. See, now it knows that I'm stupid, so it's giving me easy questions that I'm going to get right. <clears throat> I'm sorry, huh? I just covered up all of my tattoos with foundation. Let me tell you, it does not feel good, so we're gonna try to get it off. I don't know if this towel is gonna be enough. Let's ignore that it's already dirty. Just swipe and see what happens. Swipe! My forearm tattoos are my favorites. Your elbow? Ew! I'm shocked this is coming off. I didn't go through all this pain for them to be hidden. Literally foul. Wow! 
This is what winning a lottery ticket feels like. Everybody's favorite, the dino. Todd, please come back to us. I think he's gonna make it. You guys find this satisfying? Really stuck in my elbow. <laughs> you know what? She has seen better days. I'm so sorry, girl. You didn't deserve this. I still feel sticky, so I'm gonna go shower. Bye. Okay, that might be enough brain cells for you to be normal, right? Karma is my boyfriend! I think you're just weird in general. I'm just Ken. Anywhere outside be a 10. Are you just speaking in song lyrics right now? This uh uh sex to die for. Girl, nobody wants to do that with your raggedy, ugly, dusty ass. And I'm sure I've seen much hotter men, but I really can't remember when. Hey, are you calling me ugly right now? I have a whole roster of hoes. Bleeding me dry like a goddamn vampire. Is it illegal to muzzle a person? You're literally a freak. But I'm still shaking ass 